Till now we have completed Z parameters, Y parameters, H parameters and G parameters and now we are going to have discussion on our fifth set of parameters known as ABCD parameters or transmission parameters and ABCD parameters are also known as T parameters, cascade parameters and chain parameters. We call ABCD parameters as transmission parameters or in short T parameters because they are useful in the analysis of power transmission lines and we call ABCD parameters cascade parameters and chain parameters because they are very useful in the analysis of the networks which are connected in cascade manner. We will have more discussion about the cascade connection of two port networks in the coming lectures. So these are the different names of ABCD parameters and out of four variables we are having in our two port network current I2 and voltage V2R the two independent variables and current I1 and voltage V1R the two dependent variables and ABCD parameters were given a lot earlier than our convention. Our convention that I1 and V1R the input port current and voltages, current I2 and V2R the output port current and voltages and like current I1, I2 will also enter the two port network. The conventions were a bit different when ABCD parameters were given by Lord Kelvin. According to the convention this port, port number 1 or the input port is our supply end port and the voltage at supply end port is represented by V sub S, the supply end voltage and the current entering the two port network at the supply end is represented by I sub S known as the supply end current. And this port, port number 2 or the output port is our receiving end port and the voltage at the receiving end is represented by V sub R receiving end voltage and the current will leave the two port network and we represent the current by I sub R the receiving end current. Now when you focus on port number 1 you will find voltage Vs is equal to voltage V1, voltage Vs is equal to voltage V1 and current Is is equal to current I1. Both the currents have the same direction and they are in the same branch therefore they are equal. Current Is is equal to current I1. Now focus on port number 2, you will find voltage Vr is equal to V2, voltage Vr is equal to V2 and current Ir is equal to negative of current I2. The two currents are in the same branch therefore they will have the same magnitude but I2 is flowing in opposite direction as compared to Ir. Therefore we will put negative sign. So this is what we have and we know that in case of ABCD parameters voltage V2 and current I2 are the independent variables and therefore we can say that voltage Vr and current Ir are the independent variables. Voltage Vr and current Ir are the independent variables and we know voltage V1 and current I1 are the dependent variables or we can say that voltage Vs and current Is are the dependent variables. So this is what we are having in case of ABCD parameters and this means voltage Vs will depend on both Vr and Ir it will be the function of Vr and Ir. Voltage Vs will be the function of voltage Vr and current Ir. And current Is will also depend on Vr and Ir. So current Is will also be the function of Vr and Ir. 
and from here we will have two equations the first equation will be vs equal to parameter a multiplied to voltage vr multiplied to voltage vr plus parameter b multiplied to current ir multiplied to current ir and the second equation will be current is equal to parameter c multiplied to vr plus parameter d multiplied to ir now from here we can write this equation as v1 equal to a v2 plus b multiplied to minus i2 let's say this is our equation number one and we can write this equation as current i1 equal to c multiplied to v2 plus d multiplied to minus i2 and let's say this is our equation number two and we can further write equation number one as v1 equal to a v2 minus b i2 let's say this is our equation number three and we can write equation number two as current i1 equal to c v2 minus d i2 let's say this is our equation number four now in order to obtain the matrix form we will use equation number one and equation number two and not equation number three and equation number four but while solving the questions we will use the third equation and the fourth equation we will now find out the matrix form using the first equation and the second equation we will have one two by one matrix having the elements v1 and i1 and this two by one matrix will be equal to the product of two by two matrix and two by one matrix two by two matrix will have the elements a b c and d and two by one matrix will have the elements v2 and minus i2 so here you can see that we have one square matrix and the square matrix is known as t parameters matrix or abcd parameters matrix and we represent this matrix like this and if you try to have the matrix form from these two equations then you will have negative sign with b and negative sign with d which is not correct now let us find out all the four abcd parameters and we will start with parameter a parameter a can be obtained from equation number three when current i2 is equal to zero so parameter a will be equal to v1 divided by v2 v1 divided by v2 when current i2 is equal to zero and we call parameter a open circuit reverse voltage gain reverse voltage gain this is the name of parameter a now let us find out parameter c we can have parameter c from equation number four when i2 is equal to zero and it will be equal to i1 divided by v2 current i1 when divided by v2 with condition current i2 equal to zero and we call parameter c open circuit open circuit reverse transfer admittance now let us find out parameter b we can have parameter b from equation number three when v2 is equal to zero and it will be equal to v1 divided by minus i2 voltage v1 when divided by negative of current i2 with condition v2 equal to zero and we call parameter b short circuit 
short circuit reverse transfer reverse transfer impedance and now it's time to find out our final parameter which is parameter d and we will have parameter d from equation number 4 when v2 is equal to 0 parameter d is equal to i1 divided by minus i2 current i1 divided by negative of current i2 when voltage v2 is equal to 0 and we call parameter d short circuit short circuit reverse current gain reverse current gain now if you want to realize the network with ABCD parameters then it won't be possible because here we have the two equations belonging to the same port both v1 and i1 are the parameters of the input port and therefore it won't be possible to have the network and therefore we will end our discussion here in the coming lectures we will understand how we can calculate abcd parameters and what are the conditions for the reciprocity and symmetry for different parameters Apart from the five set of parameters which we have discussed till now, there is one more set of parameters which we call T parameters and you can see the difference. Here we have uppercase T and here we have lowercase T. T parameters are also known as inverse transmission parameters or a b c d parameters and i will provide the notes of t parameters in the description they are not important but if you want to know about them then i will provide the notes in the description